now we're back to the fourth part of the tutorial and here um, I'm going to continue from this portion where I implemented the button and as you can see when I press it by the way I still have a border so I need to remove that as well in the press style as well so now when I press it I don't get that particular animation specifically and but normally I will actually go in and we'll discuss how that uh, that functionality is bound in this portion so here I want to create uh, buttons that look something like this and I want to give them an icon so first let's start with this button this is the doze button so let's type in doze and select the proper icon um, bread for this particular case and now I'd like a separator line like I have right here so for this particular case I will just use a button and a label sorry and not give it any text and instead of giving it text I'll give it a special UI ID uh, of a separator right so now I'll just um, theme the separator so it'll it will appear as a separator line right here so to do this I'll just go over here and and what I want to do is add this, uh, this the background for the separator the problem is that a background without any content won't actually work because uh, the content itself determines that here I have a line image just a black line and you'll notice it just doesn't appear because the label doesn't have any content within it and the content determines the size of the label so to do that I need to add content so here I'll go back to the label and if I'll place a space in it for instance it will appear now we see a space here but also the black line becomes the entire height of the space which isn't what I want so I don't want to do something like this on the other hand I can select an icon I can select that actual single pixel black line but as you can see it actually occupies more pixels the reason for this is that this is tiled by default so what we can do is instead of tiling it um, so, sorry it's scaled by default so what we can do instead of scaling it we can determine that we want the image to be tiled horizontally only the problem is that here it's tiled to the top and the line is drawn a bit below why is that the reason for that is padding and padding determines uh, uh, allows us additional space while the actual line is placed um, in alignment to the top normally so in this particular case I can solve it by just zeroing out the padding and that way the icon line would just appear on top of the uh, of the line the background that's tiled and you wouldn't notice that both of them are drawn but they both are um, now you'll notice there's still a space in the sides and the reason for that is twofold the first it can be because of margin so we can zero out the margin as well not just the padding and that solves part of the problem but there's still a few pixels left here and the reason for that is that the round rect itself has padding of its own which space between it and the components within it so we can just set its padding to zero which will have the adverse effect of affecting the buttons within it as well and bring them closer to the edge so for the to solve this problem we'd want to place a margin on the button itself as you can see its corner is practically going out of the round rect already because it's so close so we'll define a margin for the buttons to be much larger and mm, not so much for this and that would take care of that that doesn't work for this particular button because it's uh, selected obviously but if we copy that same thing for pressed and selected it'll work for everything and to look good 
Now all we have to do is replicate this for the other buttons and similarly copy additional uh, entries like this. We can do this just using copy and paste. So I can do something like this and just paste and I have another those entry which in this particular case should be batters. So I'll just go here, edit this to be batters and select um, batters right here. And uh, I can copy the line now. So there's a copy and there's a paste and there you have it. We have essentially effectively this screen uh, without all the entries specifically, but pretty much. Now I can add another screen and this one goes into here, which is pretty similar. So you know what? I'll just copy and paste this screen rather than doing the whole bunch of work again. So edit, duplicate, uh, I'll call it uh, those because this is the entry from the those screen. Okay. And here we have the Doze screen. Now I'll change the title so we'll notice the difference. Uh, this is Doze, like this. And here I'll just remove the icon for now. And same here. Uh, so this is like uh, bread or something like that, etc. Now, from the main UI, I just select this and I define a command. A command can be a navigation command. It can have lots of actions. But here you see I have those as one of my options and splash the other screens that I have right here. So I can just select those. And this is a navigation command to just work. So we have the splash screen. It's automatically move here. And then I can select the those screen. And as you can see, I have a back command added automatically. So I can customize these further and I'll go over the additional screens and some more information for the next time. Uh, I show you how to progress with this particular demo, which we're pretty close to finishing actually.